These are 6 common habits that I notice a lot of lower level players have, along with how to fix them. Keep in mind that going for these options isn't necessarily bad if mixed up with other options, so I'm not saying to stop doing these altogether. Simply do them less often and mix them up with other alternatives to make your game as unpredictable as possible. And I always encourage you guys to let me know of anything I may have missed or misinformed in the comments below. A very common habit I notice is immediately getting up after grabbing ledge. A lot of people feel threatened or powerless at the ledge, unless they get back up. But always getting up with the same timing is a very punishable habit, might not even matter which get up option you pick. At times it's better to stay at the ledge for another second or two and see what your opponent does. Remember that the first time you grab ledge, you have invincibility for a short amount of time. And even after it runs out, not every opponent will try to challenge you at the ledge. They might just be focusing on your get up option. So use this time wisely to think of your next move. Obviously keeping in mind that some fighters can easily catch you stalling at ledge. Have this be with a hitbox or by ledge jumping you. In this case, you might want to get up a bit faster. And to avoid a ledge jump, you can simply buffer the action you would like to do from ledge. Another common habit is always attacking with the same timing. Slightly delaying the timing of your moves so that they come out a bit later can make a huge difference. If you notice the opponent trying to parry your aerials, you can do them a bit later by maybe not fast falling and having them come out like 2 or 3 frames later. This works great against parries because the opponent will drop shield a bit earlier, which won't cause a parry and instead have them get hit by your move. And if the opponent spot dodges and you miss the punish, you can instead do it a bit later or simply charge it longer if you're punishing with a smash attack. I've noticed that a lot of players pick a defensive option after an offensive one didn't connect. These options can be shield, spot dodge, or roll. This is an easy option to scout out if you're paying attention. If a move whiffs, depending on how the opponent chooses to punish you, you can at times throw out another offensive move instead of a defensive one to catch your opponent before they punish you. And some moves can push the opponent away if they shield, where some basic options might not work. Here's a great time to go for another offensive option if they're punished with. Something very basic that I don't see a lot of players do is to attack where the opponent will be instead of where they currently are. If you notice your opponent likes to jump, don't attack the ground. Jump up and challenge them before they get a chance to hit you. And if they like to roll or air dodge in a certain direction, you can also just wait that out and easily punish. So just try to be a little bit more patient and avoid overextending. Similar to tip number 1, a lot of people tend to immediately get up after they have missed attack. You obviously risk getting punished because you're just laying there, but at times just waiting a bit and then picking an option can be even better than immediately picking one. This is because usually after a missed attack, the opponent will already have a punish in mind. If they know you will get up attack, they will probably just run up to you and shield, so don't get up attack. Wait for a bit to see if they shield and roll away from them, and if they think you're gonna roll away, they will dash forward and keep dashing to catch the roll. Here just wait a bit and pick another option. Missing attack means you're down, but not out. And lastly, the most common habit I notice is jumping out of hit stun. A lot of people jump out of hit stun because they feel like it's the safest and quickest option. This can be a good option if mixed up though. So I'm not saying to stop jumping out of hit stun altogether, but you do have plenty of other options to choose from which can all work just as well. So please remember to not always autopilot into a jump whenever you get hit, since you might just jump into more pressure. Yo, what's good homies? Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed or if you found it helpful in any way. Don't be afraid to comment below on any questions or video suggestions you might have, anything you would like to add, how I can improve my future videos, anything else you can think of. I love feedback from you guys and I respond to all comments as long as they're positive and respectful. You can also follow me on all my social media to stay up to date with my current projects. Make sure to join my Discord server if you would like some coaching lessons or just hang around. And don't forget to subscribe for more future videos like this one, or just regular gameplays. Alright, thanks again for watching y'all. Peace.